between me and you I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced to check in so um i'm right now i'm getting ready to go out and run some errands so um I'm, i just got dressed and i was about to do my makeup so i thought i'd just record um my little makeup routine it's just really simple um i'm not going you know all extreme i just put on just the the basics for me so i just wanted to record and that way you guys can see um what I do to my makeup so right now I'm in my bedroom um my mirror is in front of me and I have you guys right next to me so um we're just gonna get started um first I wanted to like I got my hair in a ponytail and I wanted to like straighten the ends just a little bit because they look a little fuzzy so I'm gonna just do that real quick <clears throat> and hopefully you guys don't hear the dogs there's dogs um next door to me and they constantly bark all the time so hopefully that won't be an issue in my video so i'm gonna just do a quick little straighten just so um my ends won't look too rough they need to be trimmed again, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to straighten them just a little bit. Hopefully the lighting is okay and you guys can see me. Hopefully you can hear me because I know I talk really low sometimes, but that's just me. I've never been a loud person or, you know, talk really loud. Everybody always say, why do you talk so low? And I don't even try to. It's just, it's just me. It's just my voice. Yeah, so the dogs are barking, as you can hear. So that's all I'm going to do. They're still... Hold on, y'all. I close my door because it's really loud in the front room. And as y'all can see, see my hair? I cut my hair um, a couple months ago. And when I cut it, it grows crazy. It just grows and grows and it doesn't stop growing. And I just want to cut it. Because my hair is so long, I can't... <clears throat> I'm using this oil, this orchard oil. Um, it's by OGX. It smells really good. So I'm just spray a little bit of this on my on my ends. It smells really good. I love it. So I'm just spraying some of that on my ends, and that's it. You ever feel like you just want to go? You just want to. Do what you need to do and go. So first I'm going to do sunscreen. I always put on sunscreen before I do anything. This is the Olay uh, sunscreen. It has SPF 30 in it. And I just put that much. I don't do a whole lot. They seem like a whole lot. You always need sunscreen, ladies. You definitely don't want skin cancer i've seen it before on skin i've seen um skin cancer on someone before and it's not pretty you can get it like on your nose here you can get it like up here on your temple so wear your sunscreen it's very important and my cats are always into something I tried to like lay my hair down into a ponytail as good as I could. Okay, back to my face. Um, 
So now I'm going to go to my eyebrows. And I have this Anastasia um, eyebrow pencil. Anastasia Brow Wiz, and it's in chocolate. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to go to my Gimme Brow. This is the Brow Benefit um, Brow Pencil. It's a precision um, My Brow Pencil. I'm going to use this one because my Anastasia is almost gone and I don't feel like fighting with it. Hopefully you guys can see me. I have another little mirror right here too, but I have a big mirror in front of me. And I just do like, just hair strokes hair-like strokes just to make it look as natural as possible I have pretty full brows um, so I don't have to like do a whole lot of filling in I mostly just need to do like shaping And then I just do a brush, brush through. I have an e.l.f. concealer. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me get my glasses. Okay. Um, oh, this is the medium. So this is the e.l.f. lifting. It's the HD lifting concealer. This is the one I use. Um, another one that I use this one's a tad bit lighter and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer I use this one also but as you can see they're a little bit um, in different shade I like to use this one sometimes I'll use this one And then I just dot it just right under my eyebrows. I use very small amount of concealer. You can't you can hardly even can see it, but you see how I dotted it like that. And then I take my concealer brush. I spray it with my Mario Badesh Badesh uh, Chow. I'm not gonna even try to my facial spray. I just spray my brush with it, and then just blend it in and shape, shape it. according to my brow shape. And then I just blend it, pull it down. Hopefully you guys can see, you probably can't. I'm sorry if you can't. This is my first time doing one of these, so. And so you live and you learn, so. I'm sure I'll figure it out as I go. And the spray just really helps um, smooth it out.
like that. Okay, um, next foundation, I use the Fenty, Fenty Beauty foundation. This is the Eavesdrop. It's like a skin tint. It's really light on the, on the face. <clears throat> and I got my sponge here, and I just spray it, moisten it with my spray again and then I take my foundation and just do it like that like that like that one two three four and then I just blend it out And I love this stuff. It's really natural looking. It just puts a light filter on your face. It doesn't make you look super, you know, heavy or cakey or anything. This is my favorite, especially in the summertime when you don't want all that makeup on. I'm not a real heavy makeup person, especially um, the older you get, the less makeup you want to wear because it starts to look funny to me like the older you get so the less makeup the better you have that natural beauty just that natural summer look nothing too heavy okay then I go in with my eyeliner I have um, I have a MAC Actually, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. This is a shimmer eyeliner. It has just fine glitter in it. And um, this is the shade Bourbon. I don't know if you can see that. It's Bourbon, though. And I'm going to sharpen it a little bit because it's kind of dull. I really don't like these type of um, eyeliners that you have to sharpen or you have to are the lip liners that you have to sharpen. I'm not a big fan of those, but I still buy them because like the MAC um, lip liner, you have to sharpen it and it's my favorite. So I still buy it. So I just go in. And I line my eyes. I love using like a dark brown um, in the summertime. And then like in the winter, I'll move over to like a black. But in the summertime, and I mean, officially it's still summer. We are heading into fall and I'm here for it. I'm ready for fall. I'm starting to pull out my fall decorations. I've already started decorating for fall. And I'm pulling out like my fall colors like this pretty rust brown. So I got my eyeliner on now. I'm going to um, I'm going to set my foundation with a little bit of powder. This is the Clinique from Translucent. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit just to set my powder a little bit. That I have like around my eyebrows and stuff. So I just put some there. Just to like set my foundation. Okay. 
I'm going to do like a quick sweep with my brush. I need to wax y'all. I got my little fuzz coming in. <laughs> um, okay. Next, I'll do a little bit of eyeshadow. Where's my oh. I was looking for my eyeshadow where I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And it has a little wand on it, which is very convenient. So then I just put a little bit like over my eyes. And I love this stuff. This stuff makes your um your eyeshadow just really pop. You know, it takes it to a whole nother level. I love this stuff. And then I'll just take my my finger and rub it in a little bit. My palette, I use my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Gold. This is one of my favorite palettes. I'm in love with this palette. I'm obsessed. Look at the colors. Like what? I'm obsessed. I'm always pulling out. So first I go with like a... Um, what they call it transition shade or whatever i'm gonna just use this um this color here and just just put like a um just kind of a primer shade just to help with the colors and then i like this shade here it's right under the green. It's called um, Holla for a Dollar. <laughs> That's the name of this shade, Holla for a Dollar. So I'm going to put this in my crease, actually. It's just a really pretty, like, bronzy brown. I always, I'm always doing this when I put on my makeup. Why? Don't ask me. <laughs> do y'all do that too? Like when y'all put on y'all makeup? You like this? Like, what does that have to do with your eyes? Why you? <laughs> so, I'm weird like that. <coughs> okay. And then I'm going to take... I'm going to take this brush here just to pat on a nice pretty color on my lids. Um, I think I want to use this pretty um, like goldish color here. And the name of this is called Gold Dipped. I'm going to just pat that on my lid. And if you really, really want like a really super pigmented uh, look, you can spray your brush with the setting spray. Just to moisten it a little bit, it'll really pick up that shadow and just really pat it on there. Okay, then I'm going to take a blending, like a blending brush, and I'm going to just blend blend it out just to get that blended look sometimes I mess up with my eyeshadow like sometimes I bring it down too much so when I do that, 
A quick tip is, and this is just me, I'm not a makeup professional. This is just what I do. I just take my concealer and just dot up in the corners like that. And then that'll, um, it'll just cover up that overflow of um, eyeshadow that, that you might have brought down too far. And then I'm using my little tiny, um, my little tiny little um, makeup a sponge. And I'm just like, see how, just like blending that concealer in and then it covers up that overflow of eyeshadow. Cause sometimes I go crazy with the with the eyeshadow, and then I'm just gonna blend. Yeah. All right, we are on our last stage, which is our lashes and then our lips so whenever I'm doing my lips I'm always going with a I have this little tiny Vaseline it's a cocoa butter I'm always going with the moisturizer first just to keep those lips nice and soft moisturized and then I have some lashes that I wore I think once or twice I don't know I'm gonna just throw these on because it's actually these here, the RDL. These are the natural ones that I said I love. And these are the 421. That's what these are. RDL, uh, my duo eyelash glue that I use. So I just take my lashes. This one has a wand, it's very easy makes it very convenient I just swipe my lashes um, I do need to put on some mascara so I have the falsies Maybelline push-up drama this is my favorite mascara this is one mascara that I'm always buying whenever I run out I'm running out to get another one or even before I run out I make sure I stay stocked up on this because I love the brush on it so we're gonna put a little bit Grab my tweezers. <clears throat> and this one's gonna go here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but or if y'all was able to see that, but I really should have put on some new ones because these are kind of looking funky because I've worn them a couple times. I just don't feel like pulling out a new pair because I have to trim my I have to trim my eyelashes down because some of them come way too long and I have to trim them and all that. And I really just wanted to just throw these on because they're already trimmed. <clears throat> but this will be my last wear on these because they're looking, they're giving real spider, <laughs> spider look. 
You know how when you wear your lashes for too long, they start looking like spiders? Later. So, I got my lashes on. Now, last step is my lips. And I use, I can't find my MAC liner, so it might be in my purse, I don't know. But I have this liner, it's by um, e.l.f. So it's just like a dark brown. And I like using my liner with like some type of gloss or just like right now I have on Vaseline. Just so the liner won't look so blunt, you know. Sorry, y'all. Um, I have this like nude um lip gloss. It's it's called a Dessa. I think I got this in like a Ipsy box a long time ago. And it's just been working out for me. And it's a nice nude color. And then I just like go in. All right, and I'm done. Very simple. And then I'm going to change my earrings and put on some different earrings. And then for my perfume, what do I want for my perfume? That's so many choices. I'm going to do my Chloe. I haven't worn my Chloe. It smells so good. Really pretty. very pretty scent and then I think I'm gonna go in with a with the Kayali vanilla 28 I've been layering my scents like because sometimes you layer your scents and you're like oh my god it's so <laughs> that was a lot and then for like my body lotion, I put on the Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla Neor. And then I had on the, the Bear Vanilla Neor Body Mist. So that's what I've been wearing. Um, I'm going to put got these. These, um, these are Sugar Fix by Bubble Bar. And it's called Le Let's Get Lit. And I like little s'mores. This is like a little fire. These are little s'mores. Um, well, these are marshmallows, like, on a stick. And then these are little s'mores. It's so cute. I think I'm going to put the little marshmallows on a stick. Because they're so adorable. Like, how could you not? So cute. I'm obsessed with Bubble Bar. Like, they have the cutest stuff. I just recently ordered some bubble bar um, Halloween earrings. Can't wait till they come in. And I love little dainty earrings like this. Like, I think I've kind of outgrown like the big hoops. I used to wear like hoops all the time, but now I like little dainty, cute earrings. Like this. Wait, I didn't put in the wrong one, did I? Okay. Because I got two holes in my ear. That was so cute. Look at that. Okay. Let me put this stuff up. Let's 
gonna put on my watch this is my citizen citizen watch I've had her for a few years now she's been really good to me she's um she's solar so um it doesn't need a battery it just charges by the sunlight by the daylight and I'm just gonna put on this uh, mood bracelet energy bracelet because we're all about good energy good vibes today every day yeah and I'm just wearing my gold chain this this chain stays around my neck I never take it off this is my good luck this is my Jesus piece right here stays on me never comes off and I think I'll spray. I got a little bit of shimmer, but you can't really see it. So I'm going to spray some of my Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Soleil Blanc. And this stuff. It only takes a little bit of this stuff. It smells really good. But I just like to put it on my chest and on my shoulders. A little bit. On my neck. Okay, y'all. Some kind of way I turned off the camera, but I wanted to show y'all my outfit that I'm wearing. I just have on this um, like Razorback tank top. It's like a rust brown. I'm sure you've seen it. And then um, I just have on some black shorts and my leopard sandals. It's something nice and comfortable while I'm on my day out. So, yeah. <laughs> They're like wood wicks. Oh, this one smells so good.
pumpkin spice. We have these down here. It's a mold plum cider. Mm, that one smells good too, but my favorite is this vanilla pumpkin. Oh, it smells so good. I would get one if I didn't have a million candles at home. These are in like a a tin. Oh, it smells so good. y'all we are back from our day trip and i'm gonna just show y'all real quick what i got from target i want to do a quick target haul to let y'all know what i got so first i got these florals these are hearth in hand um just some fall florals and then i got this vase here it's an amber color Perfect for fall. I'm gonna use this as a centerpiece on my island. And I got this to put in it. And then I have some other florals from last year that I bought. I have a ton of fall florals. So I just got this one because I have a bunch of them from last year that I got from like Hobby Lobby and other places. So I got that. And then I got some soap. This is the raw sugar, lemon sugar soap, bar soap. I've never tried these, but I thought I'd try it. Um, the lemon um, is what attracted me. I love like a lemon scent soap. Um, I got some non-dairy Starbucks coffee creamer. This is the hazelnut latte. It's almond milk and oat milk. Um, I got some of this viral... Uh, whipped cream you see this all over social media like everybody's going crazy over these um, my target only had the maple vanilla so I just grabbed one of these but this is the favorite day um, brand and it's a whipped topping there's like two other uh, flavors of this stuff but my target only had this one and then um, I got this little tiered tray it's it's actually like a spice rack but i'm gonna put it in my coffee station i have like a little coffee corner where all of my coffee stuff goes and i want to put my my um my coffee pods in these right now i'm just there it's just like a box of coffee pods so i thought i'd get one of these to try to make it look a little bit more you know aesthetically pleasing um I got some of these um, air fresheners. I put these in my bathroom, like around the toilet area, just to make it smell fresh. And then um, I got some of these Mother um, Halloween Mother's Cookies. These are my favorite. These are so good. These are the limited edition Eerie Critters Cookies. But these frosted cookies are so good. And it has like cats and bats. I get these every year, or I try to. They sell out fast, so whenever I do see them, I grab them. I actually found these at um, at Cracker Barrel. We went to eat at Cracker Barrel. That was my first time being there, and their little store there is so cute. They had so much stuff there. Um, I did take video of that stuff, but um, that's where I found these at, because they, if they're put out at Target, they're gone like that. And then I got some heart and hands hand soap. This is the salt um, scent. Um, I smelled the candles and the candles smell really good. So I thought I'd get the, um, I didn't get any candles because I have way too many candles. I have tons of candles. So I told myself I'm not buying no more candles. But this smells so good and it smells fresh. 
and the amber color bottle just screams fall. So I had to get one of these. And anything hearth in hand, I'm, I'm a sucker. I also got this little guy here. This is also hearth in hand. Um, it's just another amber colored um, vase. It's a small vase and it has these florals already um, put into them and they're kind of like glued at the bottom so they don't come out, they don't move. And I thought this would be perfect for my bathroom. I'm gonna put it in my bathroom, like on my sink area and just give it a nice, give it a nice fall vibe. Cause like I said, I'm decorating my house for fall now. And I will show you guys once I'm done, all my fall decorations. And then I also got some of this Glad automatic spray refill. This is the Cashmere Woods. Um, this smells really good. I have one of the automatic sprayers in my bathroom also. I love my bathroom to smell good. I don't like to walk into a bathroom and, you know, it just it just smells bland. Like, I want it to smell good when somebody walks into my bathroom. Or even when I walk into my bathroom, I love to smell fresh, good scents. I love my house to smell good all over. Like, in my rooms, I have air fresheners everything all over the place and when people walk in my house they're like oh it smells so good in here and that's what I love and I think that's it it was a small haul yeah that's it oh I do have something else one minute let me go get it okay then I got these shoes that I wanted to show y'all these are from Target and I actually ordered them online and I got them a couple days ago, but I figure right now is a good time to show these shoes and they're super cute. And I usually don't buy like, I only buy like sandals and like house shoes and stuff from Target. But I saw these and I was like, oh, those are so cute. So, I got them. I'm out of breath because I ran downstairs. <laughs> Look at these, y'all. These are so freaking cute. They're kind of like the Steve Madden dupe. And they're comfortable. I tried them on. This is the size 6. They're true to size because I wear a size 6 in ladies. And these fit perfect. I tried on like a 6.5. And, and they were just a tad bit too big. So I had to get the size six, but look how cute these are. And the rhinestones on the back is what sold me. I was like, these are coming home with me. And look how cute they are. And this is the brand here. And they have these in black also, but I didn't need any black. I have some black shoes already. I figured these will be perfect. These are a nice tan color, perfect for fall perfect and they're so comfortable like I said I tried them on and they they're really comfortable so I can't wait to wear these so yeah I wanted to show you guys and then how much did I pay for these these were $39.99 so like I said these are like a Steve Madden uh, dupe Steve Madden's I'm sure are much more expensive so if you want something you know like the same but um for more affordable price go for these and this is the box here and like i said they're super comfortable so yeah i can't wait to wear these and they have like these little tiny blue like uh detail on them like stripes which is perfect for when you're wearing some jeans. There's like blue in here too. It's hard to see on camera, but they have some blue in them. And the soles are really cute, so yeah. So that's it, that's all I wanted to show you all. Um, and I will be back, like I said, I'll be back for more videos. So I'll see you guys later, bye.